Last week, the stars of the LPGA were at King's Barnes in Scotland for the fourth LPGA major of the season, the Women's British Open. In championships of this quality, spots in the Pro-Am are like gold dust, but golfing world's Anna Whiteley was lucky enough to get a start. One of her playing partners for the day, none other than Brittany Linsicum. In between dodging the downpours and picking up some valuable advice on the links, Anna also grabbed the two-time major winner for a quick chat. Brittany, it is always so good to catch up with your golfing world, especially for you, another solid year, kicking off with a win. How satisfying is it to go out there, beginning of the season, and get the title? It was awesome, you know, especially being one of my sponsored tournaments, Pure Silk, you know, that what could be better than winning that event? But, um, you know, it's kind of been a roller coaster year after that, you know, I was hoping that maybe that would jumpstart the year and I'd be number one in the world and, and win all these tournaments and it just kind of hasn't happened. So mm -hmm. it's been a great year, don't get me wrong, but, um, we're hoping for a little bit more at the end here. When you get a win so early on in the season, mentally, does it play with you a bit? Does it make you sit back and relax or does it encourage you even more? <laughs> I thought it was going to encourage me to, to <laughs> you know, keep trying to play better. I felt like my game was on top. I, I felt like I was doing so many good things and just kind of, it just kind of went neutral for a while and, you know, putting kind of went away or if I wasn't driving it well, I wasn't putting it well because they weren't just kind of syncing up. So mm -hmm. um, here lately, I feel like I've been hitting it really well. I've been putting really, really well. So yeah. maybe it's my time coming up soon. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> we are here at the Women's British Lynx Golf, mm -hmm. Scotland, very different to anything else you guys play. How much do you have to change your approach to the entire game when you play a course like this? I think it's more mental. You know, it, um, growing up in Florida, you would think I would be prepared for rain at least, but um, um, I cannot swing in a rain glove and it, it, it makes it much more challenging obviously playing this kind of golf because it's obviously going to rain every day. It's uh -huh. going to blow. It's going to be cold, but it's more mental. You know, it's, it's you can't get mad. You're going to hit shots that you don't normally hit and things are going to happen. You're going to get kicks and bounces and um, it's more just mentally trying to be like, okay, you know, it's in the bunker. We're going to go figure it out and mm -hmm. uh, see what happens. And you are infamously someone who doesn't like to hit tons of balls on the range. <laughs> Is that the same for something like this? Are you just out there and hitting it and just going with instinct? Pretty much, yeah. Just on our practice round days, doing a lot of chipping and putting around the green. Obviously, the grass is a lot tighter than we're used to. Uh -huh. So um, probably going to do a lot of putting around the greens or off the green. Yeah. Um, just because it, it's going to be easier. And um, But yeah, you know, a few tee shots here and there and uh, practice on the, the weather when it's good and, and try to avoid the bad weather. Oh, you make it sound so simple. <laughs> right, we're at your second shot. I'll let you go. Oh, where's my draw? And how do you favour these kind of courses? Because they're very different, but as you can see, the views are incredible, yeah. but it's such a different experience. Do you enjoy this kind of golf? Uh, I do for one weekend of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think if I would have grown up in Scotland or one of these countries, you know, I, I probably would not have been a professional golfer. Mm -hmm. um, just because I, I, maybe because I grew up in Florida, I'm just, I'm not used to the cold and yeah. um, the wind and the rain and all those elements. But um, I do like, I do enjoy being, especially when we play St. Andrews or, or Kings Barnes, you know, it's kind of where golf started and mm -hmm. there's so much history around here. So yeah. I love that part of it. We have a good time and uh, we just try to take it one hole at a time. And mm -hmm. if it doesn't go our way, we just kind of talk fishing or, or talk about something else and we just go on. Good stuff, I love your attitude. <laughs> right, I think I need to go and find my ball okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Britt, so I'm guessing you would take some kind of wedge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, 64 is a little bit closer than I'm uh, used to, but yeah. um, I would take a lob wedge and just grip down and, and hit like a half shot. And See, I know for a fact a lob wedge. <laughs> It's not going to get me there. <laughs> okay, let's try a pitching wedge. I go for a full pitching wedge, okay. I think. Okay, land it just a little bit short and hop it up there. It should be perfect. Okay, good stuff. Oh, I thinned that, Brittany. <laughs> well, it was the same as your practice swing, so... <laughs> and I knew when I didn't yep, touch the I heard. ground. <laughs> it's always that air that makes you Next makes time, you we work. just got to hit okay, the grass a little bit more. We are on the green, but we but yeah, on the green. yeah, let's go make it. <laughs> And this year is always such a big year in women's golf, the Solheim Cup. You've played in five now. How special is that week for you? That was my goal going into the year. So when I won in the Bahamas, I'm like, okay, I got a lot of good points. We're gonna keep moving up the list. There's nothing like representing the red, white, and blue in your country and all the fans. I mean, there's just so much energy. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's intense. <laughs> and for you, it'll be on home soil. And after all the controversy of last time, how wild up do you think the American fans are going to be? Oh, man. I mean, anytime it's in the United States, I mean, we've already heard Des Moines is going to have the biggest crowds of any event that we've had. So I've been there already, and, and just everyone is so super excited. And I'm sure everyone's going to have the face paint and mm -hmm. all the red, white, and blue colors. And uh, it's going to be crazy. OK, well, I know we've got to go and putt. So thank you so much for catching up with sure. us. And we'll see you later. Yeah, Thanks, great. Thanks, Brittany. Sure. <laughs>